channel. It's me, Christina Alibato. I played Gretchen Wieners in Mean Girls on Broadway, and I'm so happy that you found your way to my channel where we talk about Broadway and all types of things and have a grand old time. Um, thank you all so much for your constant support and love of my channel. I'm having the best time still doing this. I can't believe it's been like a year since I did my first video, which is insane. Um, and I'm just gonna keep talking about Broadway stuff. And as always, if you have things that you'd like to know about the Broadway world, about the Broadway community, um, please leave it in the comments because I really, really read them all and I listen and I totally want to talk about things you all are interested in. But for now, we're back for another episode of Mean Girls Memories, continuing on in my storytelling of my experience at Mean Girls, which has kind of become like a little bit of a, I don't know, Mean Girls Memories has sort of become a like getting to know Broadway behind the scenes a little bit in detail. I'm finding that I'm getting great reaction from both fans and aspiring actors and up and coming actors. So um, I'm gonna keep going along with that. I'm gonna stick with Mean Girls for a while, but then I think I'm gonna transition into like understudy rehearsals, doing a reading, what's an off-Broadway show like, and all types of things like that. So subscribe if you haven't so you can keep up to date with that. But for now, Mean Girls Memories, my opening night as Gretchen Wieners. Um, also, sometimes I forget Gretchen Wieners' last name is Wieners. Like, that's funny, Wieners. We've made it to my opening night. If you haven't caught up on this series that I'm doing, it's called Mean Girls Memories. I've gone through my entire experience at Mean Girls in detail, talking about the Broadway business, about contracts, about getting cast, about rehearsals as a replacement. If you haven't watched those videos that leading up to this one, um, pause right here and go back and start from the beginning. You'll have so much fun, I promise. And you will learn a ton and you will see me talking really fast for a long, long time, because that's what I do. The last time we were together, I talked about my put-in, which is the big rehearsal before I start, and I talked about um, my spacing rehearsal and my costume quick change rehearsal. So that's sort of leading us up to the weekend before I start as Gretchen Wieners. So the weekend before you open as a replacement, like I said in my last video, you're coming off all this amazing rehearsal, you're working, working really hard, and then it sort of stops. And it stops because it's the weekend and because we're saying goodbye to the cast member that we're replacing and there's no more rehearsals. You've had your put in and you're kind of ready. So you kind of spend the weekend and then Monday, which is the day off most of the time, like sort of like, uh oh, like I have a, I'm on a high from the put in, but I'm still really nervous because I've never done a show before and my opening night is coming up on Tuesday and what if I don't remember everything? And so it's sort of this like, funny experience of like waiting for Tuesday to come, which is usually when you open the show. Um, so I spent the weekend, like I had said, rehearsing a little bit, running through numbers, looking at notes, hanging out with the cast and with Ashley and maybe running a couple of things with stage management and um, downstairs if I needed it. And just kind of making sure that everything was sort of as ready as it could be before Tuesday. And then Monday's the day off, so I had my day off. So I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna start in a Broadway show tomorrow. What am I gonna do all day? What was cool about Sunday, the Sunday before my day off, it was Ashley's last show. And that was a big deal for me, um, being her friend and being the person that was replacing her. And you know, she obviously was a huge pivotal part of that show. So it was really emotional. T was also leaving that day. So it was really um, a beautiful send off for her. I got to watch the show. I watched her last show, which was so special and magical. Um, I sat in the audience and just watched her live her life as Gretchen and she had a party um, afterwards so I really got to bond with the cast a little bit more and say goodbye to her and then also everyone getting excited for me to start on Tuesday. So then, like I said, day off happens and then Tuesday. Did I sleep on Monday night? Unclear, probably not and probably not as much as I wanted to. Um, I was nervous and so excited. So the next time you're called after being at the theater on the weekend is Tuesday for your half hour call. And it's like go time, which is crazy. So I definitely got up, took a nice long shower, meditated, did some yoga, like centered myself and looked at all my notes, just making sure, okay, I have to be stage left for this. I have to do my costume change over here. Just making sure like the little details, I did the fearless dance break a couple of times. That was kind of it. I went down to Midtown early to meet my sister. We were gonna get our nails done. Oh my God, my nails are horrendous right now. Don't look. So I met my sister in Midtown and we had a nice little lunch together and we got manicures, bright pink, of course. Um, and we then walked to the theater and she kind of walked me there because I was like a little nervous. And I got to see my front of house photo for the first time out in front of the theater. And oh my God, what a magical moment to see the photos I had taken as Gretchen. I was nervous that day. I know I had talked about in a previous video. 
I had never dressed up like Gretchen before for those photos. I didn't really know what I was doing and I was so nervous about them. And it was so exciting to get to the theater on my opening night and to like turn, a, you know, round the corner and to see myself at, on the front of the August Wilson with the rest of the cast. I was like, oh my God, I, I get to be Gretchen Wieners tonight. This is really happening. And it was just so cool to see myself in front of the August Wilson, like in giant size, which is so crazy. Um, really a surreal moment for me. And moments like that actually in my career, those are the ones I hold so close to my heart because it reminds me of being a young person, a kid with all these dreams and wants and hopes. And when something like that happens where it's so tactile, I'm like, my face is on the front of a Broadway theater. I mean, that's crazy and it still is mind blowing. So that was kind of my first experience on opening night. And I took a bunch of pictures of myself, like picking my nose, of course, and like punching myself because that's what I do. <laughs> the amount of pictures I have of me like messing with my photos um, of myself around New York City, very funny. And also like totally the joy of my life. And then part of your opening night is moving in. So I got to the theater super early because Ashley, until Sunday night, her last show, all her stuff was in the dressing room, right? Another interesting thing about being a replacement is I didn't get to like set up my dressing room, right? So Tuesday before the show starts, I'm I'm lugging to Midtown my makeup, all of my stuff I want to have in my dressing room, photos and like um, anything I need, my water bottle, tea, like my mug, everything I'm bringing to the theater for the first time. So I got there really, really early to kind of move in and it's a magical moment and I'm getting there really early. So no one's there yet. So the theater's quiet. I'm going upstairs. I'm moving into my spot for the first time. And once I got there, my name was on my station and on my door. And that was just really, it all becomes real on Tuesday for the first time. Cause everything else is just all these rehearsals and you're learning the show and you're in the costumes, but you're like, oh my God, am I really doing this? And then it's all a blur. And then Tuesday, your opening night comes and you're like, whoa, this is about to happen for real. My favorite part of opening night in any context, whether it be off Broadway or original cast or a replacement or whatever, it's like, an incredible celebration. The minute you walk into your dressing room, again, no matter what the opening night, there are flowers everywhere. So I got flowers from colleagues, from my agent. I got wine from my manager. I had all these cards on my station, flowers from everyone. I mean, it looked amazing. I had a beautiful arrangement from Bob because he couldn't make it and a box full of pink Mean Girls type things. I mean, everyone just they know what a big deal it is to get to this point, um, to open any show in any capacity. Um, and so for me, this was my opening night and it was just so special to walk into my dressing room for the first time, bringing in all my stuff and my station was covered in amazing flowers and gifts and cards and well wishes. And oh my God, that you start getting butterflies, right? Because you're like, oh my God, this is my moment. So I kind of set up, I opened all my cards, I put all my flowers out. It like literally looked like a flower shop. I started warming up before anyone got there because I didn't want to bug anyone at the theater warming up. Um, and I took it slow. I got ready really early because again, I wasn't used to doing my own makeup yet. I'd never really done everything. I was doing my pin curl slow. Um, and then it was half hour. So once half hour started, Kate got there. Everyone's kept coming up to my dressing room and being like, break a leg, Christina, we're here for you. If you need anything, just please, please holler at us. Like, you know, everyone on stage is there to love you. And it was just so supportive. And I knew that no matter what happened that night, I was gonna be taken care of by this group of people. They were totally, they had me, right? And that feeling, oh my God, it's unexplainable because it made me able to go into the evening without feeling like judged or I'm gonna mess up everybody's show if I mess up. They were all there for me. And that is incredible because it's a team, right? Uh, the, a show is not just you. I know it can feel sometimes like you're watching the star on stage, it's their show. Oh my gosh, it is not even close to that. It is just such a community and the Mean Girls cast, just everyone just kept coming up as I was getting ready and pin curling and doing my makeup. Christina, break a leg, Christina, we're so excited. Here's a card, I'll see you on stage. If you have any questions about that part, let me know, I'm here for you. Like, have the best time ever. Um, so it was just a really cool, like, lead up to half hour, I got all ready and dressed. They put my wig on and I was like, oh my God, I'm about to do this. And of course, Kate and I were like listening to music and trying to like keep calm. Cause I was like, I don't want to like get too tight right now. And then places happens. And what's so funny about Mean Girls is the plastics don't go on until like 20 minutes into the show. So at places I was like <laughs> ready to go. And then I was like, oh yeah, Meet the Plastics is like definitely in 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna 
sit here and smile and look at my words one more time and and, get, and be really amped and try to like lower my breathing. Though I was like, I guess for Gretchen, it's okay that I'm like super amped right now because it's very Gretchen-y. Um, so, you know, leading up to the show, the show began. I started hearing it over the speaker. I was like, oh my God, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. Um, I had a lot of friends and family in the audience, my best friends. Like I, I knew everyone was out there to support me, my agents, my manager. And it was just really an exciting night. There's nothing about it that wasn't exciting and very nerve wracking because I was like, I don't really know what I'm doing yet. I've only run my costume changes a couple times. I hope that I end up in pants or skirt in every scene. I hope that I have shoes on. I hope I remember all my lines and go the right direction. And it's crazy. Uh, literally, like I'm talking about it like this because it just feels that crazy. It's so amazing. Um, so finally, Where Do You Belong started. And I hear, where do you belong? And I'm like, oh, it's time to go downstairs. And Kate was like, are you ready to go down? And I was like, okay, I'm about to meet Gretchen Wieners for the first time. So I went downstairs in my heels with my purse. I'd taken a couple selfies. Um, and I sat on that table listening to the end of Where Do You Belong? And as I'm walking to the table, everyone is like, yeah, Christina, you got this. Oh my God. Stage management's like, and all the crew is like, yeah, welcome, Christina. And all my cast that's running off and off stage, off and on stage are like, go, you're ready. You're all, you're so almost there. And then I sat on the table and I said a little mantra to myself because I'm a meditator. I reminded myself that I am okay. If I mess up, guess what? I get to do it again tomorrow. So who cares? Everyone that's in the audience is there to love me. And if anyone wants to judge me, that is totally their problem and not mine. Just be you and take a breath. And for Gretchen, I was like, breathe, right? Because Gretchen is so here. I was like, breathe, Christina. It's your last chance to breathe. As we hear, where do you belong? You know, so I'm set on the table. I like feel this way because it was so exciting. And also it's not this way. It was actually this way, right? And I'm ready and I have my phone in my hand and I'm like, okay, this is the moment. And then where do you belong ends. Oh, and then my heart right? I was like, oh my God, 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 it's never going to start. It's going to start. It's going to start. It's going to, I'm going to be Gretchen. I can't believe this. And then -da -da -da, the doors open and the smoke happens. And I'm like, oh, I know I'm silhouetted right now. I can't believe this. And I hear, Woo! and everybody's yelling and cheering. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. Like freaking out for me, for the cast. I mean, the plastics always got cheers. So like, I know it was partly my family and also just like the power of the plastics. Cause <laughs> it's so epic. Then it was like, Let's go. And we went and I did it. Um, honestly, like that sort of, that moment is sort of where like my memory stops a little bit. Um, and that's how I felt about my actual Broadway debut too in 2011. I remember very little of it because it was so insane and it goes so fast. And all you do is you go, okay, so once you're out there, then you're like, what do I do next, right? Your brain goes back to the butterflies almost subside because you're like, all right, now it's game time. Where do you have to go next? What words are you about to say? Which direction do you turn? Where, do, like, so you go to, right? I have a job to do. All my butterflies have to shove over and just do your job. So I was like, okay, I have to do this. I do my solo. I made it to this part. Okay, then I sit on the table. Then I got to cross back over here. Can stay with us tomorrow. It'll be fine. Boop. Exit, stage left. And then, ooh, okay, now I got to change my costume. Right, okay. I don't know how that went. I think I sounded okay, but I was really nervous and really hyped up. So I think my voice was a little bit sharp and I don't know how I felt about it, but I got kind of a laugh on things and I've, no one's ever laughed at me because I've never had an audience. And you know what? I got to focus on my costume. What's my next costume? Okay, pink day. Let me go to stage left. Margie Ann, she's there. This is literally the whole show. Is like you, you think about how it went and then you're like, I don't have time to think about how it went. I don't know if it went well. I don't know if anyone thought I was funny. I don't know if I sounded good, but I don't care. I gotta get into my next costume and get on stage and remember my lines and remember what song. <sighs> so it is a process that opening night because there's so much going on. Um, so I made it through the show. Um, What's Wrong With Me happened and that song was so is so special to me and I was so nervous and I just wanted to do it justice. Um, and I think that my opening night in general, I think went really, really well. I learned a lot. That's why even from last time, remember what I said, go back and see replacements again because again, if we've learned anything from the videos I've kind of like led you guys up with, uh, 
it's crazy. It's fast paced. You don't get a lot of like trial and error time. So like even opening night, I was like, oh, that didn't land. I learned so much more than maybe the last three weeks in saying that joke and it being cricketed than I ever thought. And oh, I didn't think anyone was going to laugh on that line. And I got a hilarious uproar of laughter. So it's just this learning process. Um, and also learning like that shoe doesn't feel great in my number. And oh, I might need to ask them for different shoes because ow, my feet are hurting in a way I didn't know. So opening night strangely is like this crazy blur. And then also like another rehearsal almost. You're like learning as you're doing it um, for a billion people watching you. Anyway, it was just the most magical night ever. What I love about Mean Girls is one of our traditions that we have at the show. Um, it's this special thing where the company um, at the end of our bows surround you and chant your name and hug you and we move everyone off stage. And um, I didn't know that the Mean Girls company did that. It's one of the most special things I've ever seen for both people's last show and first show. So you hear Christina, 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 woo! And the cast totally tackles you and hugs you and moves you off stage all together. And oh my God, I'll never forget that moment. <laughs> So that was just really special. And you know, my favorite moment I think, and the moment that I remember the most from my opening night is singing stars because the show's super fast paced. My show starts sort of slows down a little bit in act two. So I think act two, I was able to breathe a little bit more. Um, and then by the end of act two, after uh, the gym scene, um, you know, me and Kate go upstairs and we just hugged each other and we, you know, just talked about the night and got ready for spring fling and um it was just really special and then being on stage singing stars I just could feel everyone so beaming for the fact that I made it through the show um and that you know it was like almost my I felt like that moment in stars I was like it's I'm here I'm doing it this is like magical like I, it's it's like emotional to think about like and looking at the people to my right and left and being like I can't believe I did it like and for me you know, I've done a lot of amazing things in my career and, and met some major goals of mine. Um, but Mean Girls doing this incredible property as this iconic role, Gretchen Wieners, and it being the first time ever, you know, playing a principal in a Broadway show, especially someone like Gretchen, I was really emotional and just so beyond grateful to the universe and to all my hard work and to the people that gave me the opportunity and trusted me with the role. I mean, my bow was full gratitude. Gratitude for every single person that helped me on my journey to this, every single family and friend that was in the audience supporting me, every single cast member. And I, I just, that is what I remember the most from that night was absolute and total gratitude for everything, for the miracle that is me getting to be on stage as Gretchen. Um, so it was just so wonderful. And I, I can't say anything but amazing things about that whole experience. Um, so yeah, that was my opening night. And then we went to Haswell Greens across the street and had a drink and danced and celebrated. Um, I didn't celebrate that hard because I had a matinee the next day. So I definitely was like, whoa, I have to do this again. Seven more times this week. And then for a whole year, I got to go look at my notes. Um, so that's sort of how, what my experience was after I was kind of done with, the, uh, with my first show. Um, but it was cool. I got to bring my family and friends backstage and take pictures. And um, it was just really, really special. So... I'll hold that very fondly um, in my heart forever. And that is the story of my opening night. I'll never forget it. It was the freaking best ever. Um, next up in this series, I'm not sure. I don't know where I'm going to take this next. If you have any ideas, please let me know. I, I think that storytelling through the beginning was like my plan. Now I'm thinking like maybe I'll talk to you guys. Like tell me what you want to know, right? I can talk in detail about our video shoots and photo shoots um, with Tina and with our like social media content. I can talk about press days. I can talk about auditioning during a show. I can talk about doing a reading and developmental of another show while doing Mean Girls. I can talk about our change rehearsals. Um, I have lots of ideas. So um, 
I'll definitely keep posting Mean Girls Memories videos and also Broadway Insight videos. I'll keep you posted on what my next Mean Girls Memories video is because I definitely could do like a billion more because there's so much I could talk about. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun reliving my opening night with me. I definitely did. Oh, it was so special. Um, like this video if you had a good time and please subscribe to my channel and pass this around to your theater friends and stay safe out there and best of luck in all of your endeavors as actors and um, artists. I'm rooting for you and uh, your dreams really can come true because even talking about my opening night, it reminded me that those were my dreams and they did come true. So anyway, love you all. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.